Ladies and gentlemen, welcome and thank you for joining today's conference, Congestion Revenue Rights Auction Efficiency 1A. Please note, at this time, all audience member lines are in listen-only mode until the Q&A portion of the call. At the time, if you'd like to ask a question over the phone, you may dial pound 2 to place yourself into the question queue. If you require technical assistance, please send a private note to the event producer via the chat panel. With that, I'll turn the call over to Radha Madrigal. Please go ahead. Thank you, Rita. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. We're here to talk about the changes coming with the implementation of the Congestion Revenue Rights Auction Efficiency Track 1A initiative. Before we get started, we'll do a quick round of introductions so you know who you're speaking with on this side of the phone. My name is Radha Madrigal, and I'm with External Training and Readiness. Craig Williams with External Training and Readiness. Jim McLean with CRT. Thank you, everyone. In an effort to increase transparency and provide greater service to our stakeholders, we are recording this webinar. It will be posted on our website so that you can review it in the future and for those who are not able to join today's call. For those of you who are following along on the call, these slides are posted on kaisa.com and can be found on the ISO Learning Center under New Releases and on the release planning page under the fall 2018 release section if you go down to the CRR Track 1A. I also want to mention that the focus of this call is on the changes coming with this new initiative. We are assuming you are familiar with the basics of the CRR market. If you are not, I recommend that you visit the Learning Center on the ISO website and view some of the training material that is available under the Congestion Revenue Rights track. You should also access the Business Practice Manual Library and download the Congestion Revenue Rights BPM. Today we'll be discussing the purpose of Track 1A of the CRR Auction Efficiency Initiative. We'll go over the timeline, what's changing, what you'll see in the future, and how your organization can prepare for these changes through our market simulation activities. The Congestion Revenue Rights Auction Efficiency Initiative is a multi-phased approach to address observed inefficiencies with the ISO CRR auction. Track 1A focuses on enhancements to outage information received and used for CRR allocations and auctions, to limit the allowable source and sync pairs in the auction to correspond to supply delivery, and to the CRR software to support a mechanism to allow market participants to sell previously acquired CRRs into subsequent auctions. Items that will be addressed in the future under Track 1B include a change that will reduce the amount of sifted capacity that is released in the annual auction process. Currently, we release 75%. But with FERC approval, 1B would change this to 65%, which is intended to assist with mitigating revenue inadequacy and strives to make the annual CRR product more firm. It also includes settlement enhancements to be implemented in January 2019. Track 2 will consider additional changes for the year 2020. The market simulation window is from September 17th to October 31st. These enhancements will be activated in production on November 1st, 2018. CRR 1A changes will become effective with the 2019 annual auction that opens on November 13th, 2018. Then it will become effective for all monthly 2019 auctions going forward. The timing is a little interesting for the 2019 annual auction since we hold that in mid-November and then in late November we hold the December 2018 monthly auction which will still use the old market rules. Why are these changes needed? For a number of years, CRR auction revenues that are allocated to load serving entities were on average $130 million less than the congestion payments received by entities purchasing these CRR. In early 2017, the ISO began its initiative to address CRR auction efficiency. The ISO is concerned about the large CRR payments made to the holders of auction CRRs 
in comparison to the auction revenues collected when releasing the CRR through the auctions. The intent behind this policy is to reduce the shortfall between the auction revenues and congestion payouts. The approach taken in Track 1A to achieve the desired reduction includes three core tasks focused on the following items. One, having the CRR model for the annual auction more accurately reflect projected congestion due to planned outages. Two, increase the valuation of CRRs by focusing bidding on a smaller set of source sync pairs, which reflect true hedging of congestion costs associated with serving loads. And three, the ability of CRR holders to sell CRR capacity to enhance their respective positions. Looking at the first item, which is to have the CRR model for the annual process more accurately reflect projected congestion due to planned outages. This will be accomplished by requiring a new planned outage report to be submitted to the ISO by July 1st of each year. This report will include planned outages that could affect energy flows which should be reflected in the CRR model. There is no change to the existing requirement for transmission operators to submit their annual planned outage reports to the ISO on or before October 15th for the balance of the current year and all of the following calendar year. For the second item, which is increased valuation of CRRs by focusing bidding on a smaller set of source sync pairs, which reflect true hedging of congestion costs associated with serving loads, the allowable source sync combinations in the CRR auction process will be changed to only allow pairs that more closely reflect how load is scheduled or served in the day ahead market. The allowable source sync pairs have been updated as illustrated by the table on this slide. You'll find this table in the updated congestion revenue rights BPM the proposed revision request 1083 with this table was posted on August 31st, 2018. The way this is set up, the only valid source locations are at a generator node, a trading hub, or a scheduling point. A load aggregation point cannot be a source, and gen cannot be a sync. And you cannot source and sync between two points that are the same type. For example, you cannot have a source sync pair that is gen to gen or trading hub to trading hub. For the third item, we are giving CRR holders the ability to sell CRR capacity to enhance their respective positions. CRR holders will have the opportunity to sell CRRs that they were previously awarded in both the annual and monthly auctions. These sell offers must be made in accordance with the requirements of the Congestion Revenue Rights BPM. CRR holders will have the opportunity to submit and rescind sell offers during the auction window identified by the ISO. Sell offers will be made in submittal dedicated to selling or rescinding CRRs. Sell offers will not be included in auction by bid submittal. Only one sell offer for a given CRR ID, which is the unique identifier of a CRR, can be submitted for each auction. Bid curves should be used for presenting options for offering optional megawatt values within the same sell offer. CRRs offered for sale in the secondary registration system that are still pending approval cannot be offered for sale in the CRR auction. I am not able to show you screenshots of what the sell functionality looks like as it is protected by a confidentiality agreement with our vendor and can only be seen by the users of the system. For those of you who are users, you will have access to this tool during market simulation. 
Before we move on to discuss market simulations, what questions do you have? Rita, if we could open it up for questions at this time. And just a reminder to our audience, if you would like to ask a question, please press pound two on your telephone keypad. At this time, there are no questions in the queue. Thank you, Rita. We'll move on. Market simulation will begin on Monday, September 17th for unstructured scenarios. Structured simulation will begin on September 26th. Market sim will conclude on Wednesday, October 31st. The purpose of market simulation is to run through a series of structured scenarios that provide customers with the ability to preview and test the new functionality before it is implemented in the production environment. The scenarios list what the ISO will do, what the ISO market participants will do, along with the expected outcome and the anticipated settlement outcome. I've provided a link in the reference section to the structured scenarios, which go into each scenario in detail. There are a total of three scenarios. The scenarios are designed to run through the process of submitting bids on valid source sync locations and combinations having the ability to submit sell offers for your CRR to the auction market, the ability to download and validate your CRR auction results, and seeing how that data flows to your settlement statement. I recommend that you review the scenarios before the start of market sim to become familiar with what will occur. And before we leave you today, Let's do another question break to see if there's any questions from the audience. And just a reminder, if you'd like to ask a question, please press pound two on your telephone keypad. We do have a question in the queue. Call your line to be it. Please state your name and go ahead. Good morning. Can you hear me? Hello? Good, okay. Uh, hi, this is Daniel Julie calling from the Public Advocates Office at the CPUC, formerly ORA. Um, I just had a question um, about the timeline that you had for the market simulation. So uh, I know that you said in the previous section that the new um, annual auction will be running in November due to accommodate the, the changes that are going for track 1A, but I was wondering in the following year, will it then reset till August or will it again be run in November? The, and Hi, just to clarify, do you mean the annual auction itself? Yes. Yeah, so it typically is always run in November. Uh, this year okay. we're holding it maybe a couple of weeks later than normal, but typically it's early November is when we, we will run it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. At this time, there are no further questions, but just a reminder, if you'd like to ask a question, please press pound two on your telephone keypad. At this time, there are no questions in the queue. Thank you, Rita. The end of this slide deck contains reference material. You'll see a link to the BRS and the market simulation structured scenarios. There's also a link to the stakeholder initiative page, which contains all of the documents related to the policy and tariff development for this initiative. As I mentioned at the beginning of the call, these slides are posted on kaisa.com and can be found in the ISO Learning Center under new releases also on the release planning page under Fall 2018 Release in the CRR 1A section. Thank you for your participation in today's call. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for joining today's conference. The call is now concluded and may disconnect.